Okay, let's run the correlation analysis. Go to analysis drop down menu. We move down to, we're doing a correlation, so we move down to correlate by variate. We need to move both of these variables across. That's all we really need to do for a correlation. It's a very simple analysis to undertake. Now, here we have a Pearson's or a Spearman. Pearson's is a parametric and Spearman is a non-parametric and you will hear of those terms being spoken about over the next few weeks in your workshops. You will also have been um, taught about two-tailed and one-tailed test of significance. Generally we use the two-tailed but there will be um, times when you need to use one-tailed and you will be taught why. Let's press OK and again I'm going to have to open up. No, no, I don't need to. So here it has appeared. We've now got our correlations box. Just need to explain that. It's very simple, um, but you do need to know a few things about these um, figures that you can see. When you run an inferential statistic, you always get a result um, with a test statistic. And that is always in the, um, as, a, as a letter, um, either F, T, X squared, or R, and this is actually the R, 0.283 here is actually the figure, which is R equals 0.28, and again R equals 0.28. That actually is not probability, um, the p-value is actually shown with significance here, and sig here as well. Um, this actually, these these Pearson correlations are R equals and R equals here. Those are actually the strength of um, or size effect that you've observed. Um, so if you remember, we talked about um, variance, and that's actually a measure of that. You, again, you need to look at your notes to understand that in a bit more detail, and is really outside the scope of this demo. You will notice that these, this window here and the window here actually is mirrored. Don't need to worry about that. That's because it's actually talk versus write as opposed to write versus talk. And that's all you really need to know from running a correlations statistical analysis.